I think surprised, a little bit shocked, very, very humbled and um, a huge, huge privilege. Yeah, I mean, I'm born and bred in Wolverhampton, literally a stone's throw from this very building. That's where I was brought up, where my parents came and settled in this country and have lived here in this city, um, literally in the same home for the last 35 years. So very close, passionate ties to this city. You know, I'm doing a lot of fundraising, a lot of volunteering. People see me do lots of different mad things. And I just call it using the ability of being human. Um, we're blessed, I think, you know, if you've got a roof over your head, food on the table, you're in a pretty privileged position and we're in a position where we can go and help and maybe inspire others who are struggling, you know, and, and, and give them an arm and reach out. So that's what I've been trying to focus on, just using some of the abilities that literally came with me. You know, it'd be um, a little bit sad if we don't focus on those. So that's all I've tried to do and to be here today receiving this for literally doing what I'm designed to do. You know, it's been a, a, a great journey. I've literally spoke to my kids and I told them, Dad's getting a degree and they've been um, uh, studying for many years. But the um, qualities they have to use, those are the kind of qualities that I've tried to use in my personal life and, and this achievement today is a reflection of, of you know, dedication, concentration, commitment. If I'm running a marathon, I've got to use them. If I'm studying for a degree, I've got to use them. So, um, you know, it's been brilliant to be honest. <laughs> We have something called Samosa Saturday and it's like an idea that started at home with my family and um, literally we didn't really want to ask for donations. I'm an ambassador for Dementia UK and we thought let's give everybody something to eat and here we are five years later, 50,000 samosas served to Wolves fans before uh, football games and um, it raised a, a lot of money, a lot of awareness and um, uh, brought a lot of people into fundraising and, and having the chance to be a volunteer with me, people who'd never been in fundraising before. So that one, apart from you know, some of the personal challenges I've done, that's been our greatest like, sort of achievement, I think. We try and map out a plan and then it doesn't go according to the plan. We've got to be ready and we've got the tools to adjust. And I always say, you know, don't be too strict in anything that you do. Be flexible enough to change if you need to, um, because the qualities, regardless of what you're focusing on, are they exactly the same. Yeah, absolutely brilliant achievement, but whatever they've used to get this far, keep using it. Be more dedicated, work harder, hard work. People like shy away from it. Literally, anyone who's ever achieved anything um, to a great level has had to work hard so actually make it your best friend have the thought that I'm privileged to have the ability to work hard and um, uh, keep it in your locker and bring it out all the time so um, that's that's the thing whatever you do work hard